This is Twit. Leo Laporte, the tech guy, 8888. Ask Leo, line three, Linda, Los Angeles. Hello, Linda. Hi, Leo. Hey, Linda. Boy, it's so nice to talk to you. I've listened to you for forever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's welcome. Been a fan for a long, long time. Oh. First time I've called, though. So this is really wonderful. First time. That's what you, you're a first time, long time listener, first time caller, as they say. That's right. I yeah. am. Well, so, good. And you have, but you have helped me so much through the years. I have, I have really been led to different places for, from you, and so um, you've never led me astray. <laughs> well, let me lead you astray now. That no, no, that's wrong. No, no. <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep our perfect record. Okay, okay, let's do it. What do you need to know? <laughs> well, I have many text messages that are really important to me. Plus, because of this um, staying at home all the time, I have a lot of Zoom messages that I have recorded. They've not been started by me. They've been something that I've been receiving. So okay. I've, I've, I have uh, recorded a lot of them, and they're all extremely important to me. Yes. What I would like to know, I know they're backed up, I think, on the cloud, but and I have iP an iPhone, but um, I want to know... Like just the text messages, is there a way I can back them up and then print them out? Oh, interesting. So you're on an iPhone, and everything that you're talking about is on the iPhone. Correct. Okay. So I can see it on my iPhone. I can see it on my iPad and my Apple um, Apple uh, laptop. And but if you go into the settings on your iPhone, and you've already done this, obviously, because you can see them everywhere, but if you go in the settings on your iPad, or your uh, iPhone, or even your Mac, but mostly on the iPhone. If you see, if you go in there, you'll see with iCloud, you can back everything up. You can even with messages store them on iCloud. So uh, all of that is backed up if you set it so. It doesn't. You don't have to. And one of the reasons you might not want to is because then you're going to have to pay for iCloud storage as you start to fill it up. But, right, and I do that. I don't mind doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, it's. I encourage people to do it because then you have a backup. Right, exactly. Yeah. What concerns me is I would really, it worries me, it still worries me that I'm going to lose these. These are so important to me. Uh, some, of the, some of the text messages, not all of them, and also the voice. Here's, what, here's the easiest way to do it, and you, you don't have to, there is software you can get to do this, but the easiest way to do it is to mail them to yourself, email. Oh. So if you go to the message app on your phone and you say, oh, I really want this, and it's, by the way, not by message, but by conversation. Okay, good. You tap and hold the message, and uh, you can copy it and copy it to the clipboard, and then go and you can do that if you select all the messages in the conversation or just one message. So you can copy whatever part you want. Okay. Then you go to the mail app in iOS, you open up a mail message, and you paste it. Oh, good. You've done two things by doing this. One, you're backing it up because you're mailing it to yourself. Right. Two, you can then print the message. Oh, that's great. From your email. So that's the easiest because that you don't need to get any extra software. There are programs. Uh, Ecamm makes a program uh, that will do this. There are a lot of companies that make uh, programs that will take data off of your iPhone and let you print it and stuff. But they're more complicated. And this, if you're, if you're content to do that, I think I you're be. fine. Yeah. And then if you go into somebody telling me and this may be the case, you know, if you if you do turn on this save messages in the cloud and your messages are showing up on your Mac, your old messages as well as any new messages, then somebody said you can actually print directly from uh, messages on the Mac. I have not tried that, but if that's the case, that would be even easier. Great. I will check that. Check out. if there's a print option. Yeah, that is fabulous. And then, what about voice memos? Doing an extra backup for them, um, just so I don't, I don't miss them. I don't yeah. lose them by that's a. And I get this question a lot because, uh, and this is challenging because um, your voice messages. There's no really uh, easy way to back those up. So you, this one, you do need a third party program, and the one I recommend comes from a company called Ecam. It's called Phone View. Now, if you're going to go out and get this, and its I don't think it's very expensive. It's maybe, uh, yeah, it's $30. If you're okay. going to go out and get this, you can then use PhoneView on your Mac to print out the messages, to save them. But you can also uh, get your voicemails and save them onto your Mac. Um, so this really is a way of uh, treating your iPhone more like a storage device than, a, than an iPhone. 
So okay. anything that's on your iPhone becomes your, you know, becomes like a file on your Macintosh. Oh, that's great. Because yeah. I'm just so worried about. Um, I, I I always back everything up. I have on you know online backup and all of that. Oh, I, I know, you I'm have been listening. You have been. <laughs> thank you, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Yet, well, I listened to you. I, yes, I think you're. I think you took. You took a good. Uh, uh, you learned a lot. That's good. I did. I, I've learned a lot. I really have. So you're gonna like. I think eCam for people who want to extract data from their iPhone, like voicemail. It's. I, there are a few other ways to do it, but they all involve third-party software. Apple does not give you a way to do that. eCam is the easiest, the best. E C A M M dot com, and the program is called Phone View. Yeah, I got that down. And it's for Macs. Excellent. Yeah. That's great. Oh, and and, that's the, and the, the chat room has checked, and Mac OS messages does have a simple print message. So that's forget the email thing. You can just print oh. it right from uh, messages on the Mac. As long as you're syncing. And that's yeah. the key. Yeah. Yeah, I will make sure that I'm syncing. I'm yeah. pretty sure I am, but yeah. I will go and check and, and make sure that I am. Oh, this is great. Thank you, Leo. Thank you, Linda. My pleasure. I really appreciate it. Nice to it. talk to you. Don't be a stranger now. I, I definitely will not be. <laughs> First time's a little scary, right? But then once you yeah, do it, it's yes, like... I'm sitting here thinking, drinking water, and I'm thinking, oh, God, don't let my voice go away. No, no, no. You see, it's easy. It's just, uh, it's just us friends. We're just, yeah, thank just you, two thank people you. talking. I tried to think of it just talking to yeah. you. Just Nobody, you. Well, <laughs> I wish more people listened, but frankly, it is just us. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day, Linda. Stay oh, healthy. You too. Thank you. My pleasure. Take care.